August 2nd. Uh, welcome to the Fat Quarter Shop live stream. I have been sewing so much. So I have like so much stuff to show you. Um, one of the things that I started, I can't show you, is our charity quilt for 2020. We're gonna be raising money for Make-A-Wish again. That's gonna be our charity of choice. And um, the quilt is designed and I started it and it will be done by next week. So that will be debuting on our website like the middle of August. And I think you're gonna really love it. Um, but that's one thing that I've been working on. It's in the back of my car. I didn't bring it in because I'm not allowed to show you yet because I can't show you the fabric yet, but it's really cute. Um, another thing that I've been working on is last weekend, I went ahead and in the very first video of the year, I told you that I was gonna use some leftover pieces from every quilt that I make in 2019 and make some pinwheels. And I just randomly made it up and I'm using the H100 triangle paper. And I have a ton of triangles, so I thought, well, I've got to start sewing this up into something. So I literally just went to my computer, used electric quilt, and came up with this free pattern. So can you zoom in, Lily? So on here, this is a completely free pattern, and it's just what I'm gonna be doing with my pinwheels. So you can download that in the description box. And it's gonna be super cute. It uses 1,760 Hasper triangles. So if you're up for it, oh let's go. Gosh. I know. So here's my box of triangles. They're all a mess now. This is how many I have. And so this is one corner of it. And I don't think I have enough to make the whole quilt yet. And I want to have a lot of variety. So one thing that I do is I just throw like some on the floor and then tell my kids okay this is where I want it and then they go through and they try to take out duplicates and then I go through and of course take duplicates out um, but so this is gonna be the front so I promised y'all free pattern here's my free pattern all you need is your triangle paper or you could do the traditional way but I want to it's it's really Jocelyn's idea so Jocelyn gave me this idea of using a little bit of each quilt into a quilt and I kind of I didn't want a big quilt I wanted something that could be picnic size so I could just throw it on a table a side table the living room table I didn't want something gigantic um, but I am gonna put a ton of triangles on the back but I do know that I have enough to make about half the quilt so we're in August so I gotta hurry up but yeah that's super cute I really, really, really like it. So I'm excited about that. Another thing I worked on last weekend is we have a new book coming out, Triangles on a Roll, Quilts. This is at the printer. And we always do a sew along with it. So this one has 16 quilts and it's gonna ship later this month. And so if you reserve it, you get 20% off, but it's got 16 quilts and I'm just gonna kind of flip through so you can see some of the quilts. And then I'm gonna show you what we'll be doing for free. So obviously you'll need the book. But this is basically my working copy, meaning that it's, this is probably one of the copies that I had to proof from. So there's 16 quilts, that's my favorite quilt. And they all use triangles on a roll and they use different sizes. And we have a box that um, just came out. It's a triangles on a roll set. And if you buy that set of rolls, it's at a really good discount. And that would be every roll you would need for the book. So there's the 16 quilts. And the way we have it divided is there's two one inch finished half square triangles, two from the one and a half, two from the two inch, two from the two and a half, two from the three, two from the three and a half, two from the four and two from the four and a half. But we, we wanted to do a sew along so that if you got the book, which most of my customers do get our books because they're amazing, uh, I thought we should do a sew along, but we didn't want you to have to go buy all of the triangles on a roll. So we made a sew along where all you will need is the four inch size and the six inch size. So, Oh, sorry, three inch. Three inch and four inch. I read it wrong, sorry, three inch and four inch. And I started the sew along. So I am using the, I believe it's called Something Borrowed by Christopher Thompson. 
and this is going to be the center of the sew along and for this you will need two fat quarters five feet five fat five fat eighths and about four yards background there's going to be the background is going to go into the border and so next week i can show you the finished quilt and then we will be starting that sew along in the early September and it's just going to be a really short one. It's only going to be four weeks. And these are the other triangles that I have done that are going to be on the outside of the star. So it's going to be like a big star. So I did, I had fun doing this last weekend and of course my kids pulled all the paper off, which is amazing. So I got that done. So I have been like sewing like crazy. And then this is our So Colorful Club, and so if you're in the club, you get a different color each month. These shipped out yesterday, and I am using the So Colorful pattern that Corey Yoder designed for us, and I'm going to show you my blocks, and the best thing about this live stream is when I show you my blocks, you tell me my mistakes, because I had a mistake one time, and it's awesome, because if y'all didn't tell me, I would have totally sewn that into a quilt. So this is, these are my navy blocks. I did these last weekend. Next month will be purple. And so I'm just sewing the blocks each month, and then I'm going to have 60 blocks. Wait, 6 times 12 is 72. I'm going to have 72 blocks, which is going to be way too many for a quilt. So it's going to have to go into several quilts or something. Also, real quick, we just got a huge super chat for $10 from Teresa. Thank she you. She said, thank you for all the options you give us with free stuff and the great uses for products. And I will just continuously give you confetti cannons throughout the live stream, Teresa. Thank you. You know what? We're going to do a little piggy that jumps along the thing when we get a super oh, yeah. chat. Because um, I watch this guy. I don't even want to tell you the name because it's so bad. I, he's kind of controversial. But I... Um, I'm going to tell you on Netflix, there's nothing on Netflix going on right now that uh, interests me. And I have seen every true crime story. So I have been watching, there's a guy on YouTube, his name is Gray Hughes. Do not associate my name with him, but he does this live stream every day for like three hours. And I watch that thing and he's total cockadoodle cuckoo pants. But what he does is he gets like a current crime. And he does something with Google Earth and he goes in and this is all he does. And he just gets these like super chats like crazy. He just sits at home with his wife and they just try to solve crimes. It is the weirdest, strangest thing. And I watch it every day because there's nothing on Netflix. So Lord help me. Um, but anyway, yeah. So when he does a super chat, he does some stupid Michael Jackson song, which I'm like, I don't know if you should be playing Michael Jackson right now. But um, anyway, I've been watching him. Okay. Then I sewed something else. I swear I've sewn so much. This is all in the last week. So this is our Pillow Talk book by Aditta. This is, so this is not our book. This is Aditta's book, Aditta Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. And she, we published it for her. So in this book are 25 pillows. I showed you all the pillows last week. So if you want to see the pillows in person, view last week's live stream. But what I thought was really cool is in the book. So these are the 25 pillows. But also, one of the, and you're gonna see a lot of writing on this because this is my working copy. In the book, in the very back, is an ABC quilt. And I thought, oh, I need a gift. So I made this, I started this on Saturday and I finished it on like Monday or Tuesday. It's like the perfect size. So super easy. So. It just uses a background and then she recommends a layer cake. So I wanted this to be very boyish. So I pulled Spotted by Moda and there was, there, there's two layer cakes. So there was like their original colors and then their new colors. I pulled those layer cakes and then just pulled the blue, the greens and the browns, not browns, grays. There's a couple of grays and put this together because I wanted to test it and it was super easy. So I got this done. So I'm sending this to Gina Tell, who is Thread Graffiti, if you wanna get your stuff long arm quilted. And what we're gonna, I'm gonna put this on the back, which is a Shannon fabric, really soft. And when I went to search for fabric, I realized we didn't have enough baby prints like this. So I'm gonna stock up on some more because I didn't have enough to choose from. Super cute, that's gonna be the back. 
and then we're gonna put this on the binding. So that that's actually like a finish. I don't know if you noticed, but I show you all these things and they're like, uh, I just have like all these finishes, but next week I'm gonna have lots of quilts finished. So by next week, I'm gonna have the charity quilt completely finished, which I won't be able to show you. My perfect five sew along that I showed you all my blocks, I'm gonna put those together into the final sew along quilt and I'm gonna show you that next week. This one also has 16 quilts and I just wanted to show you, this is the book. It's not, it has not gone to the printer yet, but we made some of the blocks Sarah Price made some of the blocks. And these are some of the blocks from the book. And we just used some Bella Solids. So this is Spritz Cookie, Pinwheel Cookie. This is my favorite block. Maybe I designed it, maybe I didn't. Frosted Cookie, Biscotti. And so you can see from in the book, we made little cookie names. Oatmeal Raisin. We always have fun trying to figure out what we're gonna do. This one's also cute. Snickerdoodle. So these are sprinkled throughout the book. Fortune Cookie. And this sew along, unlike the triangles on a roll, is gonna use all of the patterns. Icebox Cookie. So this one's super sampler-ish. Two weeks ago I showed you my blocks. Sugar Cookie. Or maybe last week I showed you my blocks. Animal Crackers. Shortbread. Also, we can kind of see the, the pink through the light. So, just so you know, I don't want them it's thinking that there's yeah. pink. On oh, the pink sticky notes. These are, the, these are my notes. Macaroon. These are my notes so I can, so I can know what I'm talking about, guys. <laughs> Gingerbread. Ginger snap. Pizzelle. And chocolate chip. So these are the blocks and they're gonna be sprinkled throughout the book. So I'll show you how we have our photography, very similar to the Perfect 10. Actually, this, this copy is one that doesn't have any photos in it. It's an older copy. And I have the quilt to show you that is on the cover of the book, which I know you're gonna love. So it is, this is the cover. And I'm gonna, that's the back that we put on it. So we use fig tree fabrics for the front and it is super cute. And Cheryl made this one. Cheryl, if there's anything red, Cheryl likes it. If it's got it red or blue, we can count on her to sew it. So that's the cover of that book. And then I don't know if you guys have seen but we started our ultimate beginner quilt along and that is Kevin's brainchild and super excited about it. Um, yes. So basically I'm going to show you the quilt. Nancy made this one. So this is the order of it. So yesterday we released our first two videos. One of the videos is how to use a sewing machine. The second video is a little bit about fabric requirements and notions. And then this is block one, two, three, so on, so forth. And each week I'm gonna be showing you different tips and even if you're an advanced quilter, you might learn something. So super fun. So we use Bella Solids and um, Moda is sponsoring the event and so is Eversown Sewing Machines. And a little bit about Eversone sewing machines is they are great for beginners. They have a lot of bells and whistles for a lower price. Because one thing that I always say is you don't need a $10,000 sewing machine to make a quilt. You don't need a super expensive sewing machine, especially when you start because some people will get into a hobby and what if you don't like it? I mean, what if you don't like sewing and you just spent a lot of money on a sewing machine? <laughs> So it's a great for beginners who are just starting. Um, so you're not putting all this money out so then you can make sure you like it before you dive in. So this is our kit. And in the kit has everything you need for the front and the back and the binding. And then we have a cute little notion kit. So. We have that. I'm super excited about that because I think it's going to be great for people who have never sewn, 
but then I think it'll be great for people who do so because I learn from people all the time. Um, I learned a lot about what I stitch with from Simply Quilts, which was an HGTV show from Alex Anderson. So I learned most of what what I learned from that show years and years and years ago. I don't so much watch YouTubers now. Watch I watch YouTubers on true crime. Um, so there's that. And then, oh my gosh, this is so cute. So um, Lori's new book is coming out, Farm Girl Vintage 2. And in the book, I'm going to cover the, there is this little section that has doll quilts. And so we thought, let's make some doll quilts at Fat Quarter Shop. So Sarah made this one, and this is one of the patterns in the book. And she used her granny chic fabric, and then she tied, she did a the tying method, which is not in the book, but this is her chunky thread, Lori's chunky thread. So this is granny chic, and everything is on the blog. So if you want, I mean, obviously the pattern is not, because the pattern's in the book, but she used Lori's paint, sugar bowl, cute. And she painted this little doll bit. Look at it, it is like the cutest thing ever. So her dad, Sarah's dad found this and um, it's super cute. So um, we had a lot of questions on that when we were at Lori's house, when we did um, her book, like premiere thing, we had so many questions on the doll quilts. Um, so we thought, well, we'll just do it, do ours, and then put a little detail on the blog, and then that might inspire you to help you, and the paint is awesome. And then we have some new fabrics that I'm going to show you, and then I'll just answer questions. So last year, Swell Christmas came out, and it was one of the biggest hits Moda has had for Christmas, and so they reprinted it because so many stores uh, sold out, and there were so many customers complaining, and stores just sold out immediately so they reprinted it so if you need some more swell christmas this just came in they also followed that up with sweet christmas which mix mixes really well so if you want to mix them that's great this came in from aditta two days ago and it is awesome what's it called royal blues, royal blues. so if you like blues um, I think this one will be really popular. Her fabric always sells out. We buy so much of it and then it still sells out. And then another thing that we got that we had a ton of requests on is gnome, winter. winter gnomes. And they're like little, let me see if I can find one. They're like little gnomes. Let me show you. I'm just going to pull this out. Look at that. There's like gnomes all over. They're cute. So I thought that was cute and different and I would totally, my kids would like it. Let me show you this other one. This one's cute. They're just like gnomes just chilling. So that's new. And then I did want to let you guys know for Designer Mystery, we shipped the kits in June and we had a wait list. For the so for so basically we have people who paid the reservation fee and then we give them so many days if they don't pay it then we have a wait list and so that wait list has been cleared so we have finishing kits and backing sets but i'm going to let you know this will be sold out today peach also put that in our facebook group this morning so um, if you have not got it and you're interested now is your time um, because that is all we have left i think we have like 40 left so we've got that and then there was one other thing that i was going to talk about um just to clarify something um so we have kimberly stitch squad so what that is is a facebook group and it's run by me and we have a couple of rules because over time people have asked for them so for the so sampler we ask that in that group you don't reveal the contents until the 30th of the month but if you are on Instagram, on your own personal Facebook, on your own YouTube, you can do whatever you want. So we had some people putting really rude comments on people's YouTube channels and Instagram pages and saying that I said this. But basically, my rule is in my group, don't reveal the contents of the So Sampler. 
but people can do whatever they want on their channel. So please don't go on their YouTube channels and put rude comments because we have had people from the very beginning, like Yvette Renee, doing reveals of our box. So let them do it. Don't put rude comments on other people's stuff and say that Kimberly said, um, because I didn't. But also, like, I don't want people to, to get negative. Like, that's just a rule for our group. That's it. So please don't go and put rude things on people's comments. And then like, if you don't wanna see the contents of the box, don't watch the YouTube videos or just don't follow the hashtag for so sampler. Um, because a lot of people love those videos. A lot of people who, especially if they're like in the Netherlands and their box takes a long time, they don't wanna wait. So they will go watch those videos. Um, so just so you know, that's just for our group only. Um, that's all I have today. I just taught all my blocks for Perfect Five. I'm gonna finish the triangles on a roll quilt, and then I'm gonna take a nap. After all of that, so next week I will have so much stuff to show you guys. I am gonna go back and I need to do the Harry Potter, some of those blocks, and I need to get caught up on the Vintage Block Along by Lori. Um, and then I signed up for a block of the month club through Fat Quarter Shop. It's now sold out, but I'm still going to make the blocks and I can still show you, but we are sold out. But, um, yeah, so there's that. All right. Okay. Sorry. Nice. Lily's like, stop talking. Oh. Well, when you talk. Um, so the first comment I thought was just a cute comment from Teresa. This was when we were doing pre-roll. She said, I love that happy little song. I call it the Fat Quarter Shop song. So oh, gonna, is that the music? Yeah, the music that plays when oh, the live stream is loading. I'm going to say funny. that's our theme song. Um, theme song. You know, like TV shows have theme songs. Um, and, okay, Carol Doyle says, Good morning. How is the starch dilemma coming along? It's about the same. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm using the heavy starch for now. I might try, s what is it? Flow something? Stay flow? I might try Stay Flow. Um, Kate's been trying it. I know Peach uses it. Um, but I am, I think what I might do is go to HEB and just try a bunch of different ones because I'm not, like, I just love that old product. Um, and I have like four cans left. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. So I'm kind of, I guess, at a quandrum or a, like, still figuring it out kind of space if that makes sense okay and the next question um and i'm sorry if i don't say your name correctly and the question's in portuguese so i have a very rough idea of what you're saying uh but joe carlos i think was asking um how do you get everything that you've shown on the live stream and do we ship to portugal we do ship to portugal so everything there should be links in the description box and um, what I try to do is bring you free patterns, and then I try to be pretty clear about what you need to buy, but we sell all of the things, and um, yeah, should be in the description box. If not, you can always email us or leave a note, and we can write you back, but the pattern is free. The triangles on a roll pattern, that one's free. Um, and along the same lines, Wilma Evans was asking, what is the name of the triangle quilt? So we have a couple. So this one right here, this my, this is going to be my patchwork pinwheels, which is going to be a free pattern. And if you go to the very first live stream of the year, I show you how I did, how I kind of came up with my pinwheels. So from each scrap, I'm getting two pinwheels. There's that one. And from this one, this one is going to be a sew along using our triangles on a roll book. And all the details will be released later in the month on this. I just wanted to give you a sneak peek. And this was actually um, all of these triangles and this. I made like within three hours, all of this. But I, I mean, I did have kids helping me. Okay. So hopefully that answers. Um, I know I have a lot of stuff, but I'm kind of in that season where I'm just like sewing a lot of stuff. Okay, uh, Tony Napier says, did you match your outfit to those colors on purpose? This was when you were holding up the uh, spool blocks? No, no, I didn't, no. <laughs> I, no, no. It's funny, because on live stream days, I dress up, and on the other days, I wear t-shirts, so, yeah, no. 
No, but we are having my my twins. We're gonna go to iFly tonight, Ooh. so I wanted to be a little bit dressed up. They're gonna um. They well, they're ten and they're very different children. Um, which people always say that when you're twins, you're always different. But they really, I was getting mad because they just could not decide on their birthday party and they were arguing and just like just huge ar yelling at each other about the birthday party so finally we had to like intervene after so many days and basically said let's just go do something with the family because they couldn't decide on what they wanted and then will just wanted a sleepover so i said well his best friend is out of town until school starts so his best friend can spend the night like in two weeks because they're out of town and then this is just for pay to, and they, they had to go to H-E-B, they had to get two different cakes. I mean, it is like on and on with the birthday drama. I think we just let them get a little out of control with the birthday situation because we should have just said, this is where your birthday is. This is when we're doing it. But they just, they wanted to be 10 and they wanted to. So we're gonna go to I Fly. They're gonna fly. Christopher and Emma are gonna fly. I'm sure Kevin's gonna fly. I'm not flying. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, I'm excited. It was kind of my idea. But yeah, I kind of dressed up for that. Uh, Denise behind me is asking, what is iFly? Okay, so iFly <laughs> is basically a money pit. Oh, um, no. So basically, it's you go, it's in North Austin, and it's this long, tall building. I've never been there. And you go, like, you get in the suit, and you go like this, and you fly in the air, like you're skydiving for 30 seconds. No, 60 seconds, and you get to do it twice. Don't ask me how much it is. But it's much cheaper when it's just your four kids than it is with everyone else. Um, but I've never been there, and the lady who does my hair recommended it. It's just, the boys just really, Will really doesn't want to have a party. He doesn't want anything. He's very shy, he would be fine at home. So he wanted to have a sleepover. Well, his brother wanted to have a party at like 10 different places because his brother is Mr. Social, thinks he's like the president of United States or something. Like he's like running all the things. And they just couldn't, they were really, they don't usually fight, but they really, I just, we had to intervene and say, we're just doing something as a family and we'll do something else. Like when their best, like their friends come back and school starts, we'll have like a sleepover. So we're kind of having two birthday parties to make them happy. And then obviously they'll be with their grandparents on Monday, and so they'll do something Monday. Um, but I will be in Austin. Okay, and then uh, a cute comment from Peach. She said, "Cockadoodle Caca, doodle cuckoo pants" is my new favorite insult. Wait, what did I did I say that? You said you said cockadoodle cuckoo pants about it was oh the great yeah okay yeah. so yeah so that true crime yeah but you know I don't like to watch other people who do what I do because I don't ever want to copy someone else. But I am really into true crime, and the guy is like, he is like out in never, never cuckoo land. But um, I watched him last night for four stinking hours. I think he's crazy, and it's just, I don't know. Sometimes it's funny just to watch people just be crazy. Okay, from Jessica Knox, she says, I have a layer cake. Will that work to make the beginner quilt? It should. Um, I think it should. Um, there might be some strips that are too, let's see, it would work for, there might be some strips, let me see. There might be some strips like this one, you might need a little bit more, but you could adjust. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I think it would work for some of it but maybe not every block. What we used is 12 fat quarters. Here, I can read you what the fabric requirements are. Yeah, I, I think what we're recommending is a fat quarter bundle. 12 fat quarters. 12 fat quarters. Here it is. Okay, 12 fat quarters. I'm gonna open it. 12 fat quarters, 7 8 yard for sashing, which is the white part. One and an eighth yards of the border and binding, and three and three-eighths yards backing. Okay, uh, okay and then uh, I'm just gonna shout this out to Teresa because she gave us our super uh, generous super chat earlier. She said her son's birthday is today, so. Happy birthday, how old is he? Mine are gonna be 10. Let's find out, we'll wait for her response. Um, 
Okay, let's see. Uh, Anastasia Gab09 says, Is there an ETA on the Witches' Night Out quilt kits? Thank you for all that you do at Fat Quarter Shop, gals. We have 22 left. So that came back online yesterday because it was the same thing. It was a pre-sell kit. And we give, when we run a club or pre-sell, we give you so many days to pay. 22 people didn't pay, so we put 22 kits back online. And when they're gone, they're gone because Moda is out of the fabric. I don't know if they'll ever reprint that group, but that was a really good, um, probably the best Halloween group we've ever had. Um, Teresa says her son is 42, and then she followed it up with, I'm old. 42? Oh my gosh, I'm 45. You could be my mom. <laughs> you could be my mom. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm sad. I was going to, I'm going to tell him like, this is the last time you're going to be single digits unless you make it to a hundred. Okay. Uh, and then from Robin Parrish, uh, they were asking, can I clarify the fabric requirements for the triangles on a row? So along. Okay. These are preliminary because I just started testing it. You need two fat quarters for the center, which is this part. You will need five fat eights for the stars that go around, which I'll show you next week. We're estimating three and three quarters yard background, but obviously I haven't finished it, so I've got to test it. You will need binding and backing, and we will post all of that very soon. I just have to finish testing. And it's, I don't remember the exact size, but it's about, it's not a huge quilt. It's probably around 50 inches square. And I just saw this comment on Instagram from So Vintage Happy. Uh, she says, oh my, you have 10 year old twins. I have 10 year old quadruplets. Oh no. Oh Good for no. you, girl. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would, are they, are any of them identical? Oh my goodness, that would be, that was my biggest fear when they were born was Kevin and I wanted to be very, uh, well, we wanted to make sure they were very different and could be their own person. So Kevin never let me work, dress them the same ever, which, okay, fine, that's great. But they're so different now that me and Kevin are like, well, I don't know what we did because if they just had one thing in common, it would really help the whole situation. Ugh. Um, they have nothing in common. Nothing. But, uh, are they identical twins? No. Okay. They don't look, they don't have the same skin color. They don't have the same hair color. They don't have the same eye color. They're not the same height. One is skinnier than the other. Their head shape, everything. Their grades, oh. Their grades, let's not even talk about the grades. Oh. Uh, everything. Uh, from Mary Stewart, she says, did you get the Kimberbell Christmas Table Runner pod? I think we did. Um, the We get some of them. I don't really remember, but if you email customer service and just say, I'm looking for this one and send a screenshot from the Maywood site or the E.E. Shank site, we'll look at it. If we don't have it, I can always order some if they still have it in stock. I can't remember, but I know I know the name of the collection is We Wish You a Merry Christmas, which is really cute, and it's got little whisks. Uh, lots of people are asking, can you repeat the name of the gnome package or the gnome fabric? Winter gnomes. Winter gnomes, and the it's is it by Wilmington? It's either Wilmington or Henry Glass. Where's the paper? I have it. Yeah, we'll look real quick. Wilmington. Wilmington. Debbie mom. Debbie mom. Okay. And then, uh, oh, thank you. Amy Montney says, what all do I need to purchase for the designer mystery quilt? I only see a finishing kit, a backing kit, and the monthly reservation. So if you want to do just the 12 inch blocks, you would do the reservation. If you want to turn it into a quilt, you would buy the finishing kit. And if you want the backing, you would buy the backing. So if you want all three, you would buy all three. If you just want the 12 inch blocks, if you just got the 12 inch blocks, you could put them in a setting however you would like. Uh, from Patricia Lewis, she says, hi, will you have a tutorial for Witch's Night Out? Thanks. No, sorry. Okay. 
And then from Candy Curse, she says, can I just order the sashing and backing? Uh, I'm assuming for beginner quilt. She says, I'm using my solid yeah. club pack of the fat quarters starting tonight. Woo. Yes. So for just order seven eighths yard for your sashing, one and an eighth yards for borders and binding, and then three and three eighths for your backing. So a lot of people are doing their own things. Some people are doing prints. Some people, I think somebody's doing all purple. Um, so yeah, do whatever. And the whole point of this is to really just go back to the very big basics. Um, and Kevin wanted me to just like go back to the very like beginner, beginner stuff. So we are. Tony Burquist says, when will the Granny Chic pillow be released? I reserved a spot. We are waiting. They have not shipped yet. Um, probably two to three weeks. I can follow up. Denise just emailed me that. Um, they basically, the reason they're not out is each of the prepackaged kits that come from Riley Blake come in these boxes that are a uh, really nice paper and they like fold, they have like a closure. And so they're they have to wait for those boxes, so that's what the delay is. And they come to us pre-packaged from Riley Blake. So we're just waiting. And Bonita Nan says, how do you make the back of the quilt block so neat? Is there a specific technique? So watch my beginner series, and I'll talk a lot about how I press. Because one of the things um, that I think people do is they just like press like crazy, or they don't starch. Um, but I'll show you the back of some of my work. Um, I'm pretty particular. So that's the back of this. And I just try to press really nice. And then I'll show you the back of this one. I pressed open on that. And then this is the back of this. And so I just am really careful when I press. This one, of course, this is an easy one. So of course it's gonna look neat. So yeah, I'm just very careful about um, pressing. And you know, some people, when I've gone to retreats and stuff, there's some people who just, their backs are the biggest, hottest mess, and I just can't even. <laughs> Denise is raising her hand over here. But you know, if that's the way you want it, it's fine. Like, nobody's gonna see the back. Um, and like I say in quilting, like, do whatever you wanna do. Like, if you, like, if, like it's like what Matthew talked about. If you wanna be a 90 percenter, be a 90 percenter do whatever you don't have to do it like me my kids aren't like me i mean my daughter is but like everybody's different see i'm ocd like i'm like i gotta organize my triangles my my triangles are a little but yeah i'm gonna get this done but see this i can feel it right now um i can tell what starch i use because i can smell the starch and i can feel the film on it so it's just different Jessica Skibiki says, what is a YouTube channel called for the crime show? Huh. Gray Hughes. Gray Hughes. He's crazy now. Don't tell him I sent you. <laughs> and, and I don't agree with all the stuff he says, so I'm going to be real clear about that. He's just cockadoodle, cuckoo pants. He just, he just is. I mean, that's just the way of me saying he's crazy, but I think I'm crazy, so... Uh, but it's just, um, I like to watch stuff where people just talk. I like, it's like um, talk TV, but I don't, like I have no idea what's going on in the world. Like politics, nothing. I only know, knew Ross Perot died because I was getting my nails done and saw that. Like I have no idea. We don't watch anything specifically. Like politics, that's like completely off subject. Like, uh-uh. Like if you come in our house, like my mom, and she starts talking about stuff, Kevin will shut her down. No, we don't talk politics. Like, no, none of that. Like, we don't have any of that because that's like negative energy that you're bringing in. I believe in karma. I believe in like energy. I believe in all that stuff, like psychics. Like, I think all that stuff is like, I'm kind of weird with all that stuff. Like, I don't like, I don't like um, any of that stuff. Like, uh, -uh. we don't turn that on. Oops. That, yes, Good Vibes. And there's, okay, there's this group, there's this collection that came out called Good Vibes Only, I think. It's by Wyndham and it has all these like inspirational words. And I was trying to think of like what I could do. I was thinking about making a pillow out of it. Um, Cause my kid, it's like really bright and I think my kids would like it. But of course, I gotta figure out a time. I gotta add it into all this other stuff. But I am, yeah, I'm gonna go, um, yeah, I'm gonna get so much done. I'm so excited. 
Okay. Uh, April Curry said, when Corey Yoder was live with you, Quilts Along was mentioned to start later this year. Yes. What is the name of it and when will it start? Okay. So it is using Sunday Best. I believe that's the name. And on her blog and Sherry McConnell's blog, they posted some information on it about a week and a half ago so if you want to go to their blogs i am going to sew along with it i have the book i don't um they haven't released the pdfs and i don't know that they've released the fabric requirements yet but um it will be sunday best and they're going to host it on both of their blogs and i think it's going to be like she made it it's super cute and i took a lot of up close pictures so i might just sew exactly what she sewed uh, and question from mary donovan she says which days are you live Okay, so I'm live on Friday mornings on the Fat Quarter Shop channel. I'm live on Wednesday mornings on the Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. Yeah, uh, both usually around 9 a.m. Oh, yes, Standard Central Time. time. Uh, okay, and then uh, Sweet Common from Helen Eckhart. She says, your live streams are becoming my favorite videos on YouTube. Thank you, Thank Helen. you. Um, I try to have stuff. And then, I feel like I have too much right now. <laughs> You're good. Uh, Kingston Cat 5 says, for the triangle on a roll sew along, will there be a kit available? No, we're not doing a kit um, because we kind of were hoping you could just do it from your stash. We don't want you to feel like if you watch the live stream every time you have to buy something. That's not the point of the live stream. My point of my live stream is to just inspire you. So I want to be able to do the sew along too. So I... Honestly, the reason I use the um, collection by Christopher Thompson is because, first of all, I like it, but Riley Blake, if I really like a group, I'll tell them, and they send it to my house, and it was just sitting there, and I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to use. So that's what I want you guys to do at your house is just, you know, you might need to add a background or something, but just use what you have so that you're not feeling like, I don't ever want you to feel like you're coming here and you're buying, buying, buying. That's not the point of this. The point of this is to show you all the things that we make and inspire you to use you know see what you like see what you don't like that kind of thing so there isn't a kit um but it should be pretty simple to just pull from your stash from ellen b she says do you clip the frayed edges on the back of your box before sending to long arm quilter no mm -mm, but i starch and so i don't have too much um i don't have too much um i don't really have too much fray stuff uh, but I will say that uh, Gina Tell made my day. I hope she's watching. She, like, made my day. She texted me, and I sent her my – it's coming back today, so I can show you next week. Or, actually, it might not be coming back yet because she's putting the binding on. But I did the Moda Blockheads, which was a free sew-along that Moda hosted, and I used my stash. And I sewed it, and I sent it to her, and she texted me and said it's the squarest quilt she's ever got. And that thing is, like, big. She was like, I can't even believe how square it is. So I was so excited. But she's doing a crosshatch for me on it, which is my favorite kind of quilting, which a lot of people won't do because it's really hard. And But she's going to put the binding on. And I think I'm going to give that to my sister-in-law for Christmas. I'm going to try to give a lot of gifts this year for Christmas and just start putting them in a section because I am horrible at Christmas. Like, ugh, yeah. But I think that's going to go to her because I think she likes those colors. And I don't need another quilt. Please, Lord, help me. I do not need another quilt. Nancy S. was asking, can we see the doll bed with the quilt? Yeah. It's really heavy. Oh. Gina also says she's on her way right now. Oh, yay. Okay, so find me when you get here because just come in the film room because I have everything in here. So we had it this way, and also in her book, she has a little pattern for like a pillow, if you wanted to put a pillow. And the I do know that the ones that Lori did that are in the book, she bought it at an antique store. So by in Salt Lake City, there's this place called At Home. It's not the big At Home chain, but it's called At Home. It's just a thrift store, and she goes there like once a week. Her husband goes there for her too when um, she's busy and she collected them for a year. But this one's really nice. It's nice and sturdy. Okay, we got tons of questions coming in. Okay. Um, okay, Brenda Bixler says, when doing your ultimate quilting videos, will you show how to square, uh, how to square up blocks to a certain size? 
So I'm just gonna show you how I trim them off at the very end so that um, you get the slivers off. I'm doing that in each block, but I do want you to know that if a block finishes 12 and a half, mine never finished 12 and a half. They're always like 12 and a quarter, 12 and three eighths, 12 and five eighths, and it's okay. Your blocks do not have to be exactly 12 and a half. Mine never are, so I think it's fine if it's not exact. And then a funny comment from Sally Nagel. She says, I have chickens. You have no idea what truth you speak in cockadoodle cuckoo pants. Oh, I cannot have chickens. <laughs> no. Chelsea has chickens. I like to sleep. I do not like, uh-uh, no. I would be, like, cooking those chickens so they would stop bark, barking or whatever. Whatever they, what do they do? They cockadoodle do. Whatever they do. Like, no, we're not having chickens. They what? Cluck. Yeah, I grew up in the country, but yeah, no, I'm done with that. Like, like I grew up in the country with like cows, and my my grandparents like had cows. My uncle's probably watching this. They had cows. Okay, they lived in the city of Austin. Okay, Austin, like city of Austin in the city. They freaking had cows in their front yard and their backyard, and then they would slaughter them, and then we would eat them, and I would just be so disgusted. Ugh, and they ugh. But I know it's like the circle of life. I get it. But like, and I eat meat. But I mean, I don't want to see it before I eat it. Oh man, we got we got very circle of life there. Uh -huh, very Lion King. Sorry, I didn't I didn't I didn't watch Lion King either. My kids watched it. I didn't watch it because the Lion King reminds me of my father. So I can't watch it. No, I will have a breakdown. No, that no, mm -mm, no. My kids they said it was okay. There, you know, one was like yeah whatever, and one was like yeah it's okay. I mean. Um, okay, Lori Michaels is asking, when will the buy any vinyl be in? Soon. I actually emailed them yesterday because I was like, why have you not shipped my vinyl? So they shipped it yesterday because I, I, I have like hundreds on order and I think they just lost the order. So it shipped yesterday. I'm so glad that I knew the answer to your question because usually I don't know the answers. Okay, Jessica Skibicki also says, how is Piggy? Oh my gosh, he's so good. So he got a bath yesterday. And um, he is so cute. We found this little place right by his house. Okay, this is a good story. So we found this place right by the house to take him. And he doesn't go every day, but he goes some of the days. And we could never get him. He would never let anybody cut his nails. And so my nanny said, you know, I think, she, I think he would let Mark. Mark owns this place. I think he would let Mark cut his nails. And I was like, oh, whatever. And we bathe him. But I thought, okay, well, we'll just have Mark bathe him and see he let him cut his nails. So I'm like, that is like a huge thing. So now he can have cut nails. He doesn't have to scratch anybody. He has a place to play. Yeah, he's good. I know, he's my little baby. And I get to hang out with him all weekend all by myself and I don't have to share him. He can sit right by me. He sits, I have two chairs. I have one for like my computer desk and one for my, um, like where I sew. So I'll put him in, I'll put his bed in the chair and then I'll tell him he has to stay there and he'll just stay there. Otherwise, I have to watch him. He, he'll try to pee. Okay. Um, I'm just going to take a couple more questions here uh, because of time. Uh, Robin Henrich says, how do you become a super user? Always am ready with coffee on Wednesday and Friday mornings. I think they mean um, a member. Oh, a member. Okay, I'm gonna, okay, so if you want to be a member, Lily's going to answer so that okay. I don't say it wrong because I always say it wrong. You can only do it on the quilting channel. I know that. Yes, yes. So uh, it is a thing that YouTube kind of rolled out to certain channels. We only have it on our quilting channel uh, because our floss tube channel is much smaller, though I don't think we would add it at any time soon if we could. Uh, anyways, it is a paid membership. It is $4.99 a month that is handled through YouTube. Uh, and you basically get uh, perks like coupons and free patterns. Uh, we've done exclusive polls, like basically our members got to pick the color of the new stash and stores. Um, and what else do we do? We do exclusive live streams with Kimberly. There's one live stream where people got to ask me questions. Uh, so it's just like a, a few like extra a things. Yeah, like behind the scenes. Um, it, it's not like if you don't have it, it's not like you're missing out yeah, uh, on information. Yeah, we're still going to do all the free videos. Uh, it's, but it's just something yeah. extra that helps us like buy video equipment yeah. and invest in these live streams and our video. Yeah, it like buys all the equipment. Like we have like a million cameras and then like all the like stands like and the cart and all the things like it's not cheap. And let me tell you, those things over there, what are those things? They, they break all the time. Those tripods. We've gone through like 10 tripods like over the years. Like 
all the little things. Yeah. yeah. Like, they're not cheap. They're either. not. They're not cheap, guys. Yeah, it's true. Uh, it's like, oh, it broke again. I also wish we had a million cameras. That would be cool. Um, oh my God, Lily. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, She's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna find another question. Here. So she can name it because she has names on the cameras. Yeah, all the cameras are named. The one. I want to know when I get to name a camera. Oh. I'm gonna name a camera Piggy. It'll be the Piggy Cam. Piggy Cam. Um, yeah, the one everyone's watching Kimberly on right now is called Fancy. Anyways, so that's how it is. Uh, and there's just a join button, like, uh, on YouTube next to subscribe. There's a button that says join, and you hit it, and your payment gets processed through YouTube. Um, and just to clarify with that, um, it's, like, Google and YouTube as a service. Like, it's not something, like, if you call our customer service and try to, like, pay for that, like, they can't do that because it's through YouTube. Because uh, I know we've had questions about that. Okay. Um... Let's see. Okay. Stacy Fallon was asking, Kimberly, when are you doing your Sashiko tutorial? Or Sashiko? Oh, okay. We filmed one with Corey where I show you a little bit about the machine and then she shows you a little bit about the stitching. We're going to release that in September or October. Corey's videos are all going to go live in September or October to coordinate with her fabric release. She did a video on Clearly Perfect Angles product and we're going to release that one a little bit early just because... I didn't know how awesome that product was, but I now have it on my machine at home. So the rest will be September, October. And then uh, Shay Hudson says, will the ultimate quilting have written instructions as well? Yes. And you can, in the kit, I believe the pattern comes with the kit. Let me look. And if you don't buy the kit, we're releasing them each week. Yes, each week. And then you can download it each week on the blog or in the video description. Uh, Brenda Bean was asking, do we need to purchase a pattern for the ultimate quilt class? No, it's all free. All of it's free, guys. Yeah, it's all free so that you can use your stash if you want to, and that's why we made it fat quarter friendly because everybody's got fat quarters that you can just grab from. Um, and then I see a little bit of confusion about the uh, YouTube membership. Uh, YouTube membership is not related to the beginner quilt instructions. You yeah. do not have to join yeah. to uh, take the classes that we're going to be yeah, giving you as part gonna of. Yeah, it's all going to be on our channel. And we try to do a lot of free patterns, a lot of free stuff, like just whatever we can. To, and you don't have to be a member. That's just something that YouTube offered us. And then we did it. And it was a great way to... Um, just be able to buy more cameras to be honest yeah. um and pay for part of lily's salary i mean <laughs> like i can't do a live stream without lily like if lily's not here like if lily calls in sick oh well you're not gonna live stream so you know what i mean like she's part of it like we gotta pay her <laughs> so <laughs> oh i know what if i got sick guys oh no i haven't got sick in forever okay uh Last question here. Candy Kerr says, can you ask about fabric, like the difference between fat quarters versus fat eighths? Okay, so a fat quarter is basically, a, okay, so let's start with, like, let's start, let's go back to the basics. 36 inches is a yard. Half a yard is 18 by 44. A quarter yard is nine inches by 44. A fat quarter is is 18 by 20 instead of 9 by 44 so you get the same number of square inches it's just fatter a fat eighth is 9 by 22 versus an eighth of yard which is four and a half by 44. so it's basically double the width half the height something like that like if that makes sense like you're getting a fatter but shorter piece. Okay, I'm trying to decide something here. There we go. Okay. And I like that was the last question. This is the last question. Uh, Starbuck the White, excellent name, says, when will the new Ruby Star Society quarter quarterly club ship this month? Um, look on the website and um, there is no delay or anything. So just look on the website. I don't know off the top of my head. I do know that the quilt design is really awesome. So that is, I do know that. So awesome. So you guys have a great weekend, have good energy, and I'll see you guys next week.